Hello, and thanks for tuning in. This video is provided to you as a brief introduction to App Center. App Center is the user interface for NaviCloud, NaviCite's managed cloud services platform. The NaviCloud platform provides App Center as a web based console for creating, managing, and monitoring your cloud services and resources. App Center is designed to be an intuitive interface to enable you to configure and operate on your NaviCloud platform with graphical tools and simple point and click operations. So in this video I'll navigate around App Center and demonstrate how you'll find your way to accessing the product features of NaviCloud. I'll start by logging into App Center. Uh, you do so by using the URL and the uh, login credentials provided to you by your company's uh, NaviCloud administrator. So as I said, um, the UI is uh, simple and intuitive to navigate. It's a, it's a, t it's, it's presented in the form of a tabbed interface uh, with uh, tabs across the top that allow you to get to the configuration uh, facilities that you need. So the main tabs across the top of the page enable you to configure and manage virtual machines through the servers tab, um, uh, your network, um, your uh, cloud resources, uh, it, uh, the resources tab provides metrics, and information about tuning and billing information. Uh, the account tab allows you basically to set preferences and uh, process approvals. And uh, the, the admin tab is provided for your administrators in order for them to uh, manage users. The links across the footer enable you to access help documentation request a feature or report a bug, learn about Navisite, contact Navisite, or view uh, NaviCloud terms and conditions. Of these, I would direct your attention especially to the online help file. Um, I'll, click, I'll click over to it. <clears throat> the help file provides uh, frequently updated very easily navigated living documentation that should provide answers to many if not most of your questions about using App Center in NaviCloud. Um, it is, uh, as I say, uh, easily navigated. It has graphical navigation, text navigation, um, contents, navigation. It, is, uh, it has an extensive and always growing index. So yes, please, uh, by all means, uh, check out the user documentation provided in the help file. So navigation within the main tabs provides access to configuration screens applicable to each of the tabs. Um, the servers tab I want to skip discussion of just for the moment because it's a, it's a little different than the others and I'll come back to it. So for example on the network tab we see screens available <clears throat> for configuring firewalls, load balancers, network services, and for managing IP. Okay. On the resources tab, We see screens used to display usage metrics about your cloud environments, 
to fine tune your cloud resource allocations through the instrumentation screen and to display billing summary information. The account tab provides screens for managing your password, viewing and processing approval requests, uh, searching and examining job requests, and searching and examining uh, service and trouble tickets. The admin tab is displayed conditionally uh, just for uh, your, 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 your site's administrators. And uh, basically its user's configuration screen enables administrators to add and remove cloud, uh, NavCloud operators. And its other three uh, configuration screens, uh, approvers, workflow, and policy are used by administrators to uh, manage role-based access control. And uh, we're going to provide for the administrators uh, separate instructional material on role-based access control. There'll be uh, an extensive tutorial document <clears throat> for them to uh, to see how to uh, how to uh, configure the access control. So, okay, uh, back to the servers tab, which I skipped for a moment. Um, we see that there are no separate configuration screens listed here. Uh, instead, you navigate the servers tab uh, through a set of intuitive click menus that provide you with extensive functionality in building out servers, uh, your virtual environments, and the servers that uh, will operate within them. So there's a click menu for environments. There's a click menu in which you create groups in the environments. There's a click menu providing options in which you create subgroups in the groups. There's click menus in each of the subgroups that give you access to the virtual machine commands. So in a separate video I'm going to cover how to create VMs uh, and operate on them uh, here on the servers tab. But for right now uh, that's how you navigate around. I guess the final bit of navigation to show you is simply the log out button at upper right. And that should show you the lay of the land uh, in getting around App Center. And we hope this information helps you find what you need to get started using NaviCloud. Thank you.